It's your misfortune and none of my own. Yippee-ki-yi-yo, get along, you little dog. You know that the prairie will be your new home. And now for the adventures of Lightning Jim. It was midwinter, and the icy winds from the north were sweeping across the plains as two riders pressed on through the drifting snow. Whoa. What are you stopping for, Ned? Listen, Scar. Are you sure this is you sure this is the right trail? Yeah. There's the trapper's trading post up ahead. We'll stop in there long enough to warm up a mine. Blast that wind. Say, do you, do you think them log badges are still following us? Don't reckon they is. Not with this storm blowing up. Hey, come on. We've got to move before we freeze up. Get up there. That wind is plenty cold. Yeah, buddy. Look. There's fresh tracks in the snow. Yo, yo, I see them. See, but if that starts to snow again, it'll cover up this tree. Huh? Yeah, I know. Say, buddy. The Indians told us there's a trading post up this way. Hey, you think uh, maybe we catch up with them at the trading post? Maybe. Come on. We failed them Jaspers this far. Can't afford to lose them now. Yo, that's so. Well, I hope to get a nice warm stove at the post. Come on, Thunder, old boy. Yes, Lightning Jim and Whitey were on the trail of two outlaws on the frozen trails of the Western Plains. Fearlessly and relentlessly, the marshal and his deputy tracked down and brought to justice the desperados and criminals of the old frontier. The adventures of Lightning Jim bring back to us the courage and daring of the men who brought law and order to the West. On the sloping bank of Moccasin Creek stood an old trapper's cabin. Fanny. What? I'm going in the trading post. Well, you better get some more tea. We're nearly plumb out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got some nice pelts this time, Fanny. Ought to get a good price for them. Ah, you won't get good money for them as long as you have to do business with that old skin flint Pop Drew. Well, Pop runs the trading post, and I got to do business with him. Ain't nobody else buying pelts around here. Of course they ain't. Nobody else would live in this godforsaken country. All it's fit for is redskins and bandits and outlaws. Oh, now, hold on, Fanny. There ain't no use talking like that. We've been over this a hundred times or more. Well, I'll keep saying it a thousand times. Nobody to talk to. Nobody to see. All of being afraid the law might find us. It's a living death. I hate it. Oh, you got to take me Annie. out of here. I can't Annie, stand Annie, it. Annie, please, please, please don't take on so. I know how hard it's been for you. And I'm aiming to get you out of here. Oh, Steve, you don't mean that. You know we can't go nowhere. Yes, we can, Fanny. Where? Where can we go without running into the law? Penny, I've made up my mind that as soon as the snow clears, it's it's back to Fort Anderson. Fort Anderson? Yep. Steve, you gone crazy? No, Fanny, I've, I've just come to my senses. Fort Anderson is your home, and that's where you belong. But, Steve, if you go back to Fort Anderson, they'll hang you sure. No, no. No, they won't. Because I ain't going with you. You ain't? Steve Slocum, what are you talking Annie, about? You know I didn't kill Mort Maxson. Of course you didn't. 
But everybody knew you had it in for Mort. And when he was shot down, it was you that blamed. Sure, sure, I know. I had to clear out, but I had no right to bring you with me. Is that so? You're my husband, ain't you? Yeah, sure, well, sure. Well, you don't thank... think I'd stand by and see him hang you for something you didn't do? Yes, but that ain't the point. Oh, yes, it is. We run away from Fort Anderson and come up here, and I ain't going back to Fort Anderson without you. Fanny, you just got through saying you hated it and couldn't stand it no more. Ah, never mind what I said. That infernal wind outside that got on my nerves, that's all. Ah, get along to the post with your pelt. And you, you better think it over, Fanny. I've done all the thinking right now. I'm sticking with you to the end. Fanny, you're all right. Oh, no, no, never mind. Maybe we can go someplace else. Out west, uh, to California. Hey, why didn't we think of that before? Yes, maybe we can do that. You know, Fanny, I got my trap set to catch animals. Somehow I got the feeling that someday I'll be trapping the skunk that killed Mort and got us into all this trouble. Well, I'll be getting on down to the trading post. I got some pelts for you. Got some pelts for me? Oh, sure, sure. Well, come on, come on over here by the stove and so out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's blowing up hard, Pop, so I'll, I'll have to be getting back soon. Yes. Well, any strangers come through here lately, Pop? No, nope, ain't been nobody around. Oh, gosh, kind of lonesome, too. Ain't been nobody through here for a week. Yes, yes, it was, oh, last Monday when the troopers came by. Uh, troopers? Yes, they, uh, they was going up to Fort Edward. Oh, oh. And uh, nobody else, eh? No, no, man. Uh, expecting somebody? No, no. Well, of course, it ain't none of my Say, business. Say, who tacked but... up that reward sign? Well, well, one of the boys left it here about a month ago. Who's it for? Two bandits. Mm, and both of them killers. Oh. Uh, the, 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 the one on the right there. Take a look at them. Yeah. Boy, he is sure a tough-looking customer. Uh, the one named Scar. Yeah. This other one ain't got, ain't no angel for looks. <laughs> Here's the Oklahoma kid. Uh, he's the Oklahoma kid. I'm Buffalo Bill. You mean he ain't the Oklahoma kid? Yeah. Well, uh, leastwise, I, I don't think so, Pop. Steve, you know the Oklahoma kid? No. No. Say, uh, here's a list of grub I want popping. Well. And take a look at them pelts, will you? Oh, sure, sure. I'll... I'll... Well, looks like we got busy. Uh, yes. uh, howdy, Speakers. Uh, howdy. You're the boss of this outfit? Yes, yeah, sir, sure am. Uh, Pop Drew's my name. Yeah. Hey, uh, mind if we use your stove to warm up a bit? Sure, sure. Make yourself at home, boys. Come on, Steve, let's go outside. I'll, uh, I'll look at them skins you got. Come on. Come on, Nat. Get up close to the stove. Did you see that Jasper that just went out? Yeah, what about him? Well, that's Steve Slocum. He used to live down at Fort Anderson. Hey, 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 Lance. Look at this reward sign. What sign? Right here on the wall. Read it. $1,000 reward for information leading to the capture of the Oklahoma kid and Scar. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, who do you suppose that could be? <laughs> <laughs> so they got a reward sign for us even up here, huh? <laughs> Looks like the law badges have been here. Yeah, well, here's one sign that ain't going to stay up. Yeah, floating the fire. Yeah. Ain't no use taking no chances. Well, even with them pictures, nobody'd know us with these beards we growed. Yeah. Come inside, Steve. Yeah, here's it. Come back. Gosh, almighty, that wind's kind of chill out there. Yeah. You getting thawed out, boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be with you as soon as take care of Steve. Uh, Steve, <clears throat> over here. Got my money over here in this little box. Now, I'll get right out for you now. Let's see here. <clears throat> 20, 30, uh, 40, and 2. 42, that right, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It's a good deal, I think. Well, <clears throat> give my best to your wife, Steve. Yeah, I... <clears throat> Funny fella, Steve. He never has much to say. Hey, where does he live? Down on Moxon Creek. He lives in a trapper's cabin with his wife. Uh-huh. 
Where'd he come from? No, I don't know. I... That's one thing you never ask a man in this country, partner. Yeah. How long's he been up here? Oh, about a year, I guess. Yes, year this month. He, uh, he's, uh, a peculiar, but, man, he's gotten on his face. You can always tell a man by his face, I said. Yeah? Sure. Now, <clears throat> you take the pictures of them two bandits there on the wall. I... Say, what's that doing? Hey, what's the trouble, mister? Huh? Well, 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 there was a reward sign on the wall. Reward sign? Sure, sure. Who for? Well, well, two outlaws, the, the Oklahoma kid, and, and, and a fella called... Look called a scar. What are you looking at? Uh, nothing, nothing, partner. That's nothing yeah, at all. That's funny. I didn't see no sign. No, I didn't see any sign either. Yeah, maybe I put it here on the shelf. Hey, Drop that gun, mister. I got you covered. Now, 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 don't shoot me. Uh, get his gun, partner. Uh, give it up. Uh, now, you turn around and get oh, your hands in the air, mister. All right, but just get the money in that cash box, partner. Uh, get away from that box there. No. Oh, now we'll take care of this hombre. Grab oh, oh, that rope over there for the winner and we'll tie him up. Yeah, now, on. wait a minute. You don't need to tie me. I won't try to call you. Yeah, well, we're aiming to see that you don't. Uh, uh, two riders coming down the mountain trail. Uh, what? Uh, just see them through the window. Well, all right. Get moving. We're clearing out. <laughs> inside the trading post. Oh, that's a good idea, like. I could stand some heat, I tell you that. Yeah, look, there's nobody here. Oh, you're right. Put up your hands. Hey, look out, Jim. Don't you move now, I'll drill you. All right, mister. Put him up, Whitey. Oh, sure. No. No, I thought you was the other two hombres. You mean the two riders we saw heading down the river trail? Yes, Durham. Who are you, Jasper? I'm Jim Whipple, United States Marshal. Lightning, Jim? That's right, mister. This is my deputy, Whitey Lawson. Oh, dear, but they can't shake your hands with my hands up in the air, you know. <laughs> yeah, take him down, boys. All right. You know, <clears throat> my name's Pop Drew, and I yeah, just had a run-in with two outlaws. They robbed me and tied me up. And I just got loose as you come up. Any idea who they are? I'm darn certain who they are. It's the Oklahoma kid and a fella called the Scar. I see it. Them still you guess we are looking for. Yeah. How do you know there was the Oklahoma kid and the Scar? I had a reward sign with the pictures. They got heavy beards now, but I'm sure it was them. One was tall, and he kind of walked with a limp. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And the other had a scar uh, on his right cheek, right near his eye, right about there. Yo, see, that's him, all Come right. Come on, buddy. We got no time to lose. Hey, Scar. What? My, my horse has gone lame. He can't make it in the snow. Holy smoke. You'll have to ride on my horse. Put up your hands, both of you. Huh? Who's that? They come out from back of the boulder. Get down off of them horses. I'll get you covered. Uh, sure, mister. Say that. It's that hombre we see at the trading post. Yeah. If you get a chance, shoot. Yeah, what do you want, mister? Oh, you got him. Yeah, that flash of wind blinded him. Get his gun. Yeah. And there's his two horses over yonder. Good. Good. We can use them. Come on. Let's get. Oh, oh, Thunder. Hey, Whitey. Yo. Yo, what you want, Lightning? The wind's blowing drifts over the trail. Oh. See, Nathan, look up there by those trees. Yeah. Looks like a man lying on the snow. Come on. Careful, Whitey. Careful, take it easy now. Take it easy, steady boy. Get it now. Oh, thunder, boo. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come here, Whitey. Yo. Oh, I can hardly stand up in this wind. Look here, buddy. Don't be nimble. That is the man. See, I wonder if he's dead. No, but he will be. If you don't get him out of this wind and cold. Oh, see, I wonder who he is. Oh, no. Wait. See. I 
can't believe it. What's the matter, Lightning? This, this Jasper's Steve Slocum. Slocum? Yeah. You been him and that's the fellow they want to put Anderson for the murder of Mort Max. Yeah. Will Lightning Jim and Whitey take Steve back to Fort Anderson? And what about the two outlaws Jim and Whitey were trailing? The surprising climax of this thrilling story will come in part two, which follows immediately. And now for part two of the thrilling story of Lightning Jim and the Trapper's Trap. Lightning Jim Whipple, United States Marshal, and his deputy Whitey Lawson were trailing two outlaws, the Oklahoma Kid and his partner known as the Scar. Their trail took them into the wild Indian country to the north. On the snow-covered trail, they find the body of Steve Slocum, a trapper who had lived in Fort Anderson. Steve had been accused of murdering a man and fled north to escape the law. After finding Steve's body, Lightning Jim and Whitey locate a cave and take shelter out of the cold and wind. Well, there you are, Whitey. I got his shoulder all bandaged up. You, Lightning, as a doctor, you make a swell morse of you. Never mind trying to be funny. Poke up that fire, will you? All right. See, that was lucky we found this cave and this dry wood, though. Yeah. Oh, good. He's coming, too. Yo, look, he's opening up his eyes. Oh, hello, Steve. Who? Who are you? Look at me, Steve. Can you see me? Yes, I. I can. I can, Jim. Yeah, that's right. I didn't kill Mort. You gotta believe me, Lightning. Take it easy, Steve. We got lots of time to talk. Yeah, but you, you can't take me back to Fort Anderson. They'll, they'll hang me. They think I done it. Never mind what they think. Please, please, Lightning. I, I can't go back. Let me die. Tell, tell Fanny she can go home now. You ain't gonna die, Steve. That bullet went through your shoulder and it's all fixed up. Yo, and just as soon as you feel a little better, old man, eh, we can take you home. Who's, who's that? That's Whitey Larson, the deputy. You remember him? Yeah, sure. Tell me, who shot you, Steve? There, there was two of them. Yeah. I saw them come in the trading post. <laughs> Come on, Scar. I can't, Ned. I can't. I can't go on. I want to lay down. Listen. I can't. You can't do that, Scar. You've you got to keep walking, or, or you'll freeze to death. I want to wanna ride my horse. Scar, listen to me. Listen to me. Scar, can you hear me? Listen, you can't ride. You, you'll freeze if you don't keep walking. No. No. I, I can't. I can't walk. No more. No, wait. I can't. Wait. I wait, can't. Scar. Wait. I, I see a light. Look. There's the cabin. By the creek. No. Uh, I want to... Well, 
found him, ma'am. Me and, me and my partner got lost in, in the storm. Well, come inside, quick. Yeah, bring him in here and put him on the bed. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting Steve. Steve? Yeah, he's my husband. Hey, put your friend down on the bed. Yeah. Uh, uh. Careful. There, there, that's fine. I'll heat up some water and fix some tea. Well, uh, he'll be all right as soon as he gets thawed out, ma'am. Steve ought to be here pretty soon. Story about more killing sounds reasonable. It's gospel truth, Lightning. I, I swear to it on a stack of Bibles. Steve, you know me well enough to know that I'll do everything I can to help you. Sure, I, I know you will, Lightning. But if we can't find the evidence up here, well, I got to take you back to Fort Anderson to stand trial. And it'll be a fair trial, I guarantee you that. All right, Lightning. Good. Now, if you're strong enough, I reckon we better head for your cabin, Steve. Sure. It ain't far from here. Hey, Lightning. Yeah, what is it? The storm is letting open the wind. It's dying down a little All bit. All right. Let's get going. Well, how are you feeling now, Scar? Well, all right, I guess. Oh, this fire sure feels good. Yeah. Say, that. where's the old lady? She went out back. Hey, listen. Huh? She's been waiting for her old man to come home. Yeah? Where'd he go? To the trading post. But I got a hunch she ain't coming back. What do you mean? Uh, she said his name was Steve. Well? Now, that was the name of the Jasper you would build on the trail. Same fellow... We saw on the trading post. You sure? Yeah. Uh, here she comes now. Yeah, seems like the wind's dying down, ma'am. Yeah, it is. Would you like something uh, to eat now? Well, now we don't want to put you to no bother, ma'am. Well, I can eat. <laughs> I ain't bashful, ma'am. Put up your hands, huh? both oh. of you. I got a loaded gun and I know how to use well, it. Well, now hold on, ma'am. What's the idea? Yeah. Keep your hands in the air or I'll let you have it. Turn around and face the wall. Come on. You may not think much of women handling shooting irons, but I reckon I know a few of the tricks. I'll take your gun. Uh, listen. Keep your hands up and turn around. Well, now, be reasonable, ma'am. Reasonable? Maybe you can explain how you come to have Steve's horses. Steve's horses? You heard me. Them horses outside are Steve's. Where did you get them? Hey. Hey. Somebody's coming. Grab her, Scar. Let go, man. Oh, you're Stop. breaking this. Uh, don't move her. I'll drill you. I'll see who's coming. Well, who is it? Three riders. Well, get over by the wall so you'll be behind the door when it opens. And pick up the gun. Sure. I got him. All right. Now let him come. Well, put up your hands, yeah, all of you. And be quick about Don't it. Don't be in minute. He ain't dead, Ned. Shut up. Well, looks like we got our party all together. Yeah, Nat, you got the drop on us now. But the law will get you sooner or later. Uh, you're good at making speeches, Lightning Jim. But when I get through with you, well, you'll be wishing you was back in Fort Anderson. Get the gun, Scott. Sure. Give me that gun. All right. Come on. All right. right. And who'd have thought I'd have run into you, Steve Slocum? <laughs> and the Marshal. You almost caught yourself a murder if you hadn't have got caught yourself. Marshal, the man killed a fellow named... Mort Max. That's a lie. You was the one that's killed Morton, you know it. Yeah, you'd have a hard time proving that, Steve. The law said you done it. That's why you come up here. You killed Mort Max. <laughs> the marshal says the law is going to catch up with me sooner or later. Well, maybe so. But I got a way of fixing law badgers. What are you aiming to do with them, Nat? Kill them all. The marshal and his deputy come up here to get Steve. They had a gunfight. And nobody lived to tell what really happened. <laughs> oh, how's that for a story, Lightning? <laughs> that won't help you none, Nat. You're wanted for robbery, rustling, horse thieving, and murder. Killing us won't stop the law from staying on your trail. Maybe not. But I'll have the satisfaction of drilling the famous Lightning Jim. And since I ain't got nothing to lose, 
I might just as well have some fun. Where's your cash, Steve? My cash? Yeah. I kind of figure you got some cash hidden around here. Now, where is it? Come on, speak up or I'll start billing and I'll take your wife first. No, no, wait, wait. If, if I tell you where the cash is, will you promise not to kill her? I ain't promising nothing. But I'll think it over. It's in a box under that trap door in the floor. All right. Keep them covered, Scar. I'll get it. Sure. Keep your hands up, Lightning Jim. I don't see no box, Steve. Reach down under the floor. Well, I don't feel nothing. Oh! What's the matter, Nat? What's the owl? Reach for the sky. Are you? Don't move, you are. Good work, and I think that was the quickest gun grabbing I ever seen. Oh, let me get out of here. Oh, my arm. You won't get out of there, Nat. Now I've got you right where I want you. Gee, what's holding him? Take a look. When that went after the cash box, he stuck his arm in a bear trap. A bear trap? You've been in me. Don't get me out of this trap. It's killing me. No, not until you confess that you was the one that killed Mort Max. No, no, bless you. Mort Max and hired you to steal government horses. You had a fight with Mort and killed him. Then you told me Mort wanted to see me, and when I went over to his house, he was dead. Folks know that I didn't like Mort, and I was blamed for it. Yes, Nat, you killed him. Oh. Now, are you confessing that, oh. or do you want to die in that bear trap? Oh, yes, yes, I killed him. <laughs> Lightning, when that and the scar came in the trading post, I recognized them, even with their beards. And when they drilled me on the trail and took my horses, well, seems like they kind of got lost in the storm and the horses led them to my cabin. Yeah, the horses were going home. And thanks to you, Lightning and Whitey, me and Steve are going back home, too. Back to Fort Anderson again. <laughs> Funny how these things work out, Steve. Whitey and me was trailing Nat and the scar. Running into you was kind of accidental. Accidental? Yeah. I'd say it was providential. When I set that trap to guard my cash box, I didn't figure a bear trap would help me catch two bandits and set me straight with the law. Yo, I say, that's the first time I ever heard of catching three poor cats in a bear trap. <laughs> And so ends another thrilling adventure in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.